Hello, welcome back. This will be the third painting of the day. I am working on 11 by 14, two inch gallery wrap. Pretty excited about it. I'm Tara with Tara's Traveling Paints. I know I'm whatever. But I got my Bigfoot shirt on, covered in paint. And the puppy just fought it. She just freaked herself out. She just goes crazy, but anyway. So what we're gonna do is something that um, I, I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. If you watch the last painting, paintings that I did, the two videos, I took all those paints and I made them with zero, there's no, there's a very little amount if there's an amount at all, okay? I mix that all up. I left my red a little bit thicker because that's going to be my base. And um, you gotta, you're going to have to wish me a lot of luck here because I have no idea how it's going to come out. Um, I'm actually going for pearls. I don't think I'll get them, but... Something interesting will happen. Um, I have done an almost successful pearl painting before. Let me get it for you. I mean, the longer it, it lives with me, the more I like it. It's actually available for sale. And um, that was the closest I've ever come to pulling it off beautifully. Um, I ended up liking all its imperfections anyway, and I varnished it. And I liked it because I used a brush to varnish it. I like how that kind of affects it too. I think it's pretty cool. So let me get that out of the way. I'll put it back on the wall after. And uh, so I hope everybody's doing good. I hope you're doing all right. I hope you are. So I'm going to leave a little reserve in this red, but not a whole, whole lot. And I'm working with a neon green um, sea foam pearl or green sea pearl bronze portrait pink and some black. And the cat has decided she's taking over her spot and she's not going to like it because I'm going to be standing over there. Let me go ahead and get you tilted in. I got, oh, all right. So what I did is I went ahead and brushed the whole canvas with the liquid paint, the fluid paint. That is not, just so you know, that if you can see it in that camera, that is not silicone. There's no silicone in these paints. I had a couple of really good days of silicone. I'm not really into it right now. Let's get some light on the subject. And fancy, and not fancy. Kitty, you've got to move on. All right. So I get myself a pretty nice puddle here. I'm thinking I'm doing it right. I don't know. Supposed to be a little thicker on the base than the other paints. That's a lot of paint. All right. <laughs> so, since green and red turned to brown, we're not going to put it right there. I don't know why she just barked. I hope no one's knocking on my door. Because I ain't answering. Get it moved around a little bit. Who knows? So all I did was add more water until I got to that space. I'm starting to get a lot more comfortable with water. So that makes me happy. So since... Okay, we're going to start with the bronze. And I'm going to go low and then really high. Still going to reserve some of that. Then I'm going to go in with the pink. Which looks white, but it's not. Low and really high. Now this I've got to buffer, so I'm going to get the black right here, and I'm not going to go high on it, I'm just going to let it be black. Still have a little bit of left of that as well. And we're going to go with the neon green. I'll get it a little high. A lot of air bubbles. Oh, 
I'm like nervous. And then uh, I want to go back in with the bronze. I, I don't know if I'm doing it right, guys. I have no idea. Let's finish it off. Gonna have to get some gloves on here. First, I gotta spray it. Not spray it, but add fire. Go ahead, get gloves on, and do some swishing and swashing. And uh, if I get them on fast enough that I don't lose all my paint, because apparently I am definitely not level. Let's maybe bring some back. I bring it back a little. Not everybody can have level, and I just, it's what it is. I think I want to uh, throw some pink on top. In like a splashy pattern, like a, like that. What did I just do? Do you know? I don't know. All right, so here we go. Get to the middle, back to the middle, over to the corner, back to the middle, over to the corner, back to the middle, to this corner, back to the middle. Over the corner. Back to the middle. Over the corner. Back to the middle. Over this side. Back to the middle. Over this side. Back to the middle. Wow. I'm stretching my little brains out. I'm super curious about this. Wow. This is going to be wild, guys. I don't know if I'll get pearls, but... Gonna get something. It's really pretty. It's super pretty. And I think I am gonna get some pearls, red ones. It's gorgeous. Oh God, I, you know, I had no idea how it was going to go, but I'm seeing some really nice bronze lacing. This is wild. Okay. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tilt anymore. I think I want it to hopefully stay as close to where it's at right now. And since we are uneven and it is flowing this way, I'm going to leave it in this position for the sake of those, bold, those uh, not boulders, the uh, pearls, the red pearls that are coming. Let's see if they turn into pearls. They might just be cells. Pearls definitely kind of have like an iridescence to them. I have plenty of iridescence in there, but... I, I love the vein of gold. It looks like... This is so pretty. I... Okay, 
I still have a little movement here. Let me use it. Oh, the edges are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh boy, guys. This is uber exciting. Look at them coming up. I'm so excited. I'm like, well, if I'm going to do a third painting, I should do one I don't normally do. Just get in there. Do something new. And I just went by a thumbnail of Veronica Staff and Art. She, and I'm like, you know what? Let me, I didn't watch it. But uh, the thumbnail, I'm like, oh, yeah. Let's try. Oh, that bronze vein is so beautiful. Still moving quite a bit of paint. It's not too, too crazy, but it's moving. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. I'm going to let it grow. I'm going to let it grow for, uh, let's do like uh, 45 minutes and come back and get you in for a closer look. I don't know if I can hit the stop button. I got to find out what's going on with the cat. She's yelling. All right. I'll be right back. I want to do something else before I left it to grow. I want to go in with a little green just like a ribbon. I don't know if I'm going to pull this off, but I hope so. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have had that idea. Right. How to fix that? Don't know. I could tilt it off. Okay. And I'm going to do that again with the other green, but I'm not going to do it bad. I'm going to do it right. All right. I think that's kind of cool. And I don't even mind it. All right. I don't even mind the mistake part. You know what I mean? I want it to look a little more organic. So I need to kind of get it to thin out a little bit and get wonky. And it's doing it. All right. Okay. Uh, I know the mistake part. It might be freaking you out, but I think it's going to dry really super cool. Let's give this 45 minutes before I go keep going on. Holy moly. Plus, I think the puppy really needs to poop. I might even do another painting. I don't even know. I'm freaking right out right now. It would be different. It would be very different, but let's see. Let's give this a break. Oh, I can't do another painting. This is the only place I have to dry. Okay, guys. I set the timer for 45 minutes. It just went off. Um... I am so excited. Look at this. Look at them beautiful pearls. They became pearls. Sorry about the... Should have started low so it goes right back into it. Look at this. What on earth? And look, remember the mistake over here? It disappeared. 
It's just got that fine vein in there, along with the other green one. Got some more pearls over here. Ooh wee! Oh, I couldn't be happier. So beautiful. Ah, thank you so much. Please hit like, because I think it's worth liking. <laughs>